Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. In this video we will quickly go over the main concepts of binomial expansion and then jump straight into solving the different types of problems that we typically encounter within the exams. Now the binomial theorem allows us to expand algebraic expressions of the form a plus b to the power of n for any positive integer as follows. a plus b to the power of n equals to sum from k equals to 0 to n n combination k a to the power of n minus k times b to the power of k. Now, n combination k is effectively called the binomial coefficient and is given by n factorial over n minus k factorial times k factorial. Now, if we expand out this summation, we get a plus b to the power of n equals to n combination 0, a to the power of n, b to the power of 0, plus n combination 1, a to the power of n minus 1 times b, all the way up to n combination n, a to the power of 0, b to the power of n. Notice that each of these terms is such that the sum of exponents of x and y terms always add up to n. Now, let's apply these concepts to some common exam questions. So, for the first question, we will consider the binomial expansion of x plus 2 to the power of 5. In this case, a equals to x, b equals to 2, and n equals to 5. Now, let's calculate each of the terms separately. So, for k equals to 0, we get 5 combination 0, x to the 5 minus 0 times 2 to the 0. Now, 5 combination 0 is just 5 factorial over 5 factorial times 0 factorial, which is equal to 1, times x to the power of 5, times 2 to the power of 0, which of course is 1. And therefore, this term comes out to be x to the power of 5. For k equals to 1, we have 5 combination 1, x to the power of 5 minus 1 times 2 to the 1, which is equal to 10x to the 4. Then for k equals to 2, 5 combination 2, x to the power of 5 minus 2 times 2 squared, which is equal to 40x cubed. For k equals to 3, 5 combination 3, x to the power of 5 minus 3 times 2 cubed, which is 80x squared. Then for k equals to 4, 5 combination 4, x to the power of 5 minus 4 times 2 to the power of 4, which is 80x. And finally, for k equals to 5, we have 5 combination 5, x to the power of 0 times 2 to the power of 5, which is equal to 32. So then the final expansion becomes x plus 2 to the power of 5 equals to x to the power of 5 plus 10x to the power of 4 plus 40x cubed plus 80x squared plus 80x plus 32. Now let's consider a more challenging example. Suppose we want to find without calculator the coefficient of x cubed term in the expansion of 2 plus 3x to the power of 6. In this case, a equals to 2, b equals to 3x, and n equals to 6. Now if we look at the binomial expression, we find that x cubed term would be obtained by setting k equals to 3. So that then means that the x cubed term can be written as 6 combination 3, 2 to the power of 3, times 3x whole to the power of 3. Now, 6 combination 3 is just 6 factorial over 3 factorial times 3 factorial, which of course is 6 times 5 times 4 over 1 times 2 times 3, multiplied by 2 cubed, which is 8, multiplied by 3x whole cubed, which of course is 27x cubed. So, when we tidy up, we get 20 times 8 times 27x cubed, and therefore multiplying all the terms together, we get 4320 times x cubed. So that takes us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.